What's up everybody, in this video, I'll be unboxing the American Express Delta Reserve card, and I'll be going over the top perks that come along with the card, so you'll see if this card can bring any value to you. Let's get into the unboxing. All right, everybody, so this is the box that the American Express Delta Reserve card comes in. It is a beautiful box, and I actually already opened the box just to cover up my personal information, just for privacy reasons. And as you can see, it's similar to the American Express Platinum card box. It has a little bit more designs on it. And when you do remove the seal on the American Express Delta Reserve card box, you see the different airports under the seal. Now, this is what the American Express Delta Reserve card looked like. And they also give you a welcome message saying, welcome to reserve. Like I said, it's a beautiful box. And this is the Delta Reserve credit card. And it is a metal card, it's a purple card, and you can see it has the Delta logo up top with Sky Miles on it. This is how it looks up front. And when you turn it around, this is how it looks on the back of the card. And like I said before, it is a metal card. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a quick drop test for everybody. It's definitely a solid metal card. It's a little bit lighter than the American Express Platinum card, but it still is pretty heavy. So I'm gonna put it to the side for now. And then let you see what else comes in the box. So as you can see, you have a lot of different little pamphlets with the different perks that comes with the cards, which I will be going over in the video, some of the top perks that come with the card. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the unboxing. So let's get into the perks of the Delta Reserve card. All right, so now that we're done with the unboxing, the first thing I'm gonna tell you is my welcome offer when I applied for the Delta Reserve card was 100,000 bonus points after you spend $5,000 in six months and I also earned 10,000 MQMs after I hit the minimum spend requirement as well too. So with the MQMs, that would actually help you qualify for silver, gold, platinum, or diamond status. So in order for me to hit silver status, I have to have 25,000 MQMs. So now I only need 15,000 instead of the full 25,000 to get the MQMs. And on top of that, my annual fee for this car is $550. So 100,000 bonus miles is actually equal to around $1,000 in travel. So if you subtract the $550 annual fee from the car, you actually walk away with $450 in free travel. So the first perk that come with the car is the welcome offer. So yeah, you're gonna pay $550 every single year, but in the first year, that really doesn't matter because the welcome offer will definitely outweigh what you're paying in the annual fee. But the current offer that I see with the car currently is 90,000 bonus points after you spend 6,000 in six months. You don't have any MQM offers right now, but if you're not looking to work towards any status with Delta or anything, I'm guessing that really wouldn't matter to you, but if you are, you may wanna wait until you actually get 10,000 MQMs or 15,000 MQMs with your welcome offer. And like I said earlier, with the welcome offer that I receive, I receive 10,000 MQMs, so to me, I receive a whole lot more value because I am looking to gain at least gold status with Delta this year. So the second perk that I I feel like you can get some value from is the fact that they're giving you 15% off whenever you book with miles. So let's say that you're going to purchase a flight and you see that the flight actually costs $337. Whenever you book with miles, that particular flight would actually cost you 26,000 miles plus $12. But if you have a Delta Reserve card or one of the Delta cards, you'll be able to get that particular flight for 22,000 points plus $12. So you see, you're actually saving money up until this point. I don't know if it may change later on because in the case of Delta points, the cost of the flights when you book with miles will change along with the cash price that you pay for a flight. Now, if you enjoyed the content so far, please just hit the like button, subscribe and click the notification bell because YouTube will see that this video is valuable and they'll push this video out to a larger audience so we can help as much people People as we possibly can. And also leave a comment down below letting me know what Delta Emmett's card are you planning to get? Are you planning to get the reserve, the gold, the platinum? And also let me know why you choose that particular card. 
Now let's get back into the video. All right, so now the third perk is definitely for the person that's trying to gain status with Delta because this will actually give you status boost. So after you spend $30,000, you will actually gain 15,000 MQMs, which will help you qualify for status. So just imagine, I already gained 10,000 MQMs just from my welcome offer. And if I spend $30,000 on the car, I gain another 15 MQMs, which will give me 25,000 MQMs, which will give me silver status. Now, of course, you also have to meet the, one of the other requirements, which will be MQDs, which you spend $3,000 dollars on travel with Delta or you can qualify for MQD waiver after you spend 25,000 on your Delta Reserve card as well too. So basically, you can pretty much gain status from not even flying. All you gotta do is put spend on the Delta Reserve card. Now, I know a lot of people are not gonna do that. They're not gonna put 30,000 on this card because they can get way more value for putting 30,000 on the Platinum card or whatever other credit card give them more points. But since I'm trying to gain status with Delta, this will make sense for me. And this is one of the reasons why I actually apply for the car. Now, if you do feel like this particular car would be a good fit for you, definitely feel free to use my referral link below. It will help support the channel and it will show that you actually appreciate the content that I'm currently providing. Now, the fourth perk, which is one of my favorite perks, is Delta's upgrade list. You will be able to be added to Delta's upgrade list just by having a Delta Reserve card. Usually you have to have some type of status with Delta. You have to have silver, gold, platinum, or diamond status in order to be added to that list. Now, it is a downside to that. Even though you are added to that list, if you don't have any status at all, you will be at the bottom. So you will come after the silver medallion status. But the good part about it is, whenever you do obtain some type of status with Delta, so let's say you obtain silver status, whenever you book with your silver medallion status and you have the card, you will be at the top of the silver medallion status list. So if it's a first class spot that comes open and you're at the top of that list, you're gonna be one of the first ones to get it. Or if it's a comfort plus seat available, you'll be one of the first ones to get it. So what I do in the community tab, once I book a couple of flights and see if I'm upgraded, I tell you the number of flights that I flew and I'll let you know how many times I actually got upgraded. And we'll see if that is a perk that you can actually receive value from. But like I said, that is one of my favorite perks that come with the car. I'm definitely gonna take advantage of that particular perk. Now the fifth perk that come with the car is TSA PreCheck and global entry. So you will actually receive a credit for global entry or TSA pre-check. You have to choose either one, and I would recommend getting global entry because TSA pre-check comes with global entry, and this is gonna help you breeze through airports. As long as you don't have a long TSA pre-check line or global entry line, you'll be able to cruise through the airport with no issue. I used it because I have it through my platinum card and I went to airports such as JFK and it hasn't taken me longer than five to 10 minutes to get through TSA pre-check. And when you look over at the main line that you go through to get into the airport, you know you can be there for probably 30, 40 to 50 minutes if you were in that particular line. So I definitely see a lot of value in that. Make sure you don't let that credit go to waste. And like I say, it's definitely, definitely worth it. Now, if you do feel like this car will be valuable for you, you may also wanna check out my video on my American Express Platinum unboxing as well too. It's gonna be here. And check the card out, see if it will be something that you'll be interested in as well. And let's get back into the video. But as you can see, my main reason for actually applying for this card is to be able to gain status. And you know, like I said, I'm gonna be taking more flights this year, but I wanna be able to gain status using this card as well too. So I'm gonna put the $25,000 spent on this card to help gain silver status. And I'm also gonna take flights as well too that will help gain the status as well. And being on the complimentary upgrade list as well too that can potentially get you in a first class seat is another Another reason why I got this car. You have to go through all the benefits of the cars and see if the $550 annual fee would actually be a good fit for you. Now, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and click the notification bell, and I'll see you next time.